Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we'll just be continuing with the main story questline today and uh, I think that's all that needs to be said for now. Right, let's speak to uh, Oshajab. I always have so many weird names in this game. <laughs> Hello there adventurer, you seem light on your feet. Fancy a quick skip along the route of the Heaven's Pillar here? I need someone to pick off a blue trumpet or two. I know what you're thinking, it's not more than a mushroom, so why the commotion? I'll tell you why. You allow that fungal menace to multiply and within a moon they'll be covering the whole damn route and rotting the wood clear through. Just watch your step while you're up there though. The dynamites on the ground won't waste any time adding insult to falling injuries. Once you're done, head up to the top end of the route and report to Fyodor. He'll be glad to hear someone's taking care of one of his more dreaded chores. Right, uh, mushroom picking. Right. Let's be careful because I get the feeling that yeah, I'm possibly going to fall. Yeah, am I within range? No, I can reach it. Right. And this one. Three more. Uh, sorry, two more after this. Uh, what is the other two? There's one. And the other one is slightly higher up. There it is. Get a feeling I'm going to have to jump. Nope, can I even jump down there? Can I reach that from up here? Uh, no, I can't. Let's just be nice and gentle. Oh god, I'm going to fall off, aren't I? <laughs> right, there we go. And up to the top. Awesome. Right. Hello, Fyodor. Got some mushrooms for you. Oh, you've cleared the route of blue trumpets. Wonderful. To be quite honest, I have this teeny tiny problem of heights. Uh, no, this is not my ideal portion, but we all do what we must. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's not the right place for you. <laughs> Keeping the route possible is an important job, you see. It's one of the few ways folk can traverse the central shroud since the calamity all but split the area in twain. It is not perhaps the easiest pathway to walk, but there are those who believe the will of the matron herself caused this tendril of a heaven's pillar to remain thus suspended, that it might serve the forest people. I'm rather fond of the notion myself. Um, right headpiece. Let's see. Yes, that's a definite improvement, so we'll take that. And we can't use the one, obviously, because that's for uh, melee classes. It is, regrettably, my duty to stand watch over the road from here to Bent Branch Meadows. The ranch has become a veritable institution of Gridania, so any threats to its continued operation are taken quite seriously by the Wood Whalers. Which reminds me, mayhap it was my imagination, but I believe I caught a glimpse of some shadowy fella not too long ago. Would you mind passing word to Rosaline down below? I would go myself, but, well, it's hard enough marshalling the courage to walk the route of my shift. Right, back down we go. Yeah, I think we've gotten into a bit of a uh, dull spot in the questline at the moment. Uh, picking mushrooms. <laughs> and uh, what were the few steps that we had before this? Uh, not particularly memorable, so they couldn't have been too uh, earth shattering. <laughs> a shadowy fellow? Hmm, now that you mention it, I may have seen something. I dismissed it as a trick of the light before, but I thought I saw a shadow in the forest to the north. Still, I suspect it's nothing more than a quiet quern thief on the run. If you must say it, your curiosity, by all means investigate. Should you actually find something of note, I would like very much to see it. Okay, um, where are we going here? To the no Oh, right, there it is. Shouldn't take us too long to get there, I think. Alright, here we go. Uh, please leave me alone, diamites. Alright. One leather bag. Okay, so I guess we're just taking that back now, yep.
Hmm, have you found something? Uh, yes we have. Remnants of a campfire and a forgotten bag. This could belong to any adventurer or traveller. And inside we have a Chocobo grooming bruise and Rosling oil. But wait, why would a traveller make camp here when it would be far safer to beg the hospitality of Bent Branch Meadows? Bugger me. I think this belongs to that stranger said to be meddling with the Chocobos. Thank you, adventurer. We have been lax in our duties, but no longer. I swear we will find this shadow. Uh, the boots. Yeah, definite improvement. Right, let's just uh, quickly get those equipped. Actually, let's have a look, see if they recommend Gail pick that up. Yeah, that should be a little bit easier than fiddling through every single uh, item in my armory chest. And we do have the best weapon equipped at the moment. Yes, we do. Oh, and update. Right. We cannot allow other sentries to dismiss similar sightings. They must know what we have learned. To that end, I've prepared this letter containing everything we know about our mysterious stranger. I need you to show it to my comrades throughout the shroud. Once each sentry has committed the details to memory, have them write their name at the bottom for confirmation. Start with Elmar at the Bannock, then find Bernard at the eastern gates of Bent Branch Meadows. They ought to relay the information to the others. Finally, make sure Eilgar sees the letter. He stands watch within the stables, so if this stranger's aim is to harm the Jacobos, Ilgar may have to personally put an end to it. Alright. So that's to the east. And where's the other one? How is it going to show me the second target once I've done the first one, I'm guessing. Alright. Hmm. Don't think I'm liking the new outfit at the moment. I preferred the Gandalf hat, but if it's got better stats for me, I'll use it. <laughs> mm. oh, uh, what's going to be the easiest way? Yeah, just off road it again, I think, through the river. Alright, try not to attract the attention of that Bob Yarzon if we can help it. Can we go up here? Yep, we can. Do, 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 do. One quick check on our gear, which we haven't been doing yet. It's not desperately in need of repairs. It is a thing in this game, but I think it's because it's uh, so low level at the moment that it's not really a necessary thing. You don't look like you're here for training. Uh, information regarding a suspicious individual compiled by Rosaline of the Wood Rail Whalers. A shadowy figure. Understood. I'll pass word to the recruits as well as the sentries. Let me just make my mark. There, that should do. If you follow the road south, you'll find Bernard by the bridge to Bent Branch, Godspeed Adventurer. Alright, he did say south there, didn't he? God, I've got such a short term memory. Yeah, south. Alright, so the gate must be down here. I'll be so glad once I've got my mount so that uh, we can reduce the amount of time spent on uh, walking from one place to the next. <laughs> you have business with me, adventurer? Uh, I do indeed. Got a report for you. Rosaline is right to be cautious, for this stranger to venture so close, yet go to such great lengths to remain undetected, is highly suspicious. They clearly have designs on Bent Branch. We appreciate the help. I should write my name here, yes? And here, take it. You'll find it'll go in the stables past the Ephrite. Okie dokie, yeah, there's the Ephrite, so just, yeah, up there. <laughs> Alright, nearly there. There he is. Or possibly she. No, I think it's a he. Or is it? Hard to tell. No, nope, it's definitely a male, I think. Mind the birds, adventurer. They get nervous around strangers. Go report for you. What's this? A shadowy stranger near the matron's leaf. You've already shown this to Bernard and Elmar, I see. Good, good. Then all that's left is to inform the staff here. Not everyone here is a wood whaler, true. 
but even our stable boys wouldn't hesitate to take up arms to defend these Jacobos. Right. Level up so quick, we're going to be needing to do a uh, culture quest before too long. Never mind though. You're quite the compassionate adventurer by the sound of it. Well, far be it from me to look a gift Jacobo in the mouth. I have need of a capable man like yourself. We received a peddler at the gates the other day, an excitable Lalafell that was sweating and swearing that he had been attacked by large winged beasts. Yet other than hornets, I know of no flying creatures in this region. If there's any truth to what he said, it might prove problematic for other travellers. Follow the road south and see if you can find any evidence to support his claim. And should you find something, kindly tell Low Fair to patrol his area sometime instead of just stand beneath the spire and staring at the god's damned road. In those ro in those words. Alright. To the south. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, nope, we don't want to be in that gate. We want to be through this gate. Should be uh, just over here somewhere. There it is. A vulture egg. Uh, oh, let's get you out the way. Oh, God. Uh, did we manage to move out that time or did we not? Uh, You're pretty soft. You should be going down any second. Wait. Ah, I guess I've uh, moved too quickly in that... Oh, wait. Did that stone go off? It must be in the arrow that finished him. An oven vulture? Two? And they were defending a nest? Well, I... Uh, perhaps we could omit that last detail from any official reports. I would rather not give Ilga any further cause to be cross. Thank you for slaying the beasts. You may rest assured that I will not permit this to happen again. Uh, gloves. Uh, vitality intelligence. Right, that's basically exactly the same as what I've already got, so we'll take the gold reward this time. I have another task for you, adventurer. I need you to head to the hedge tree to the southwest of here and speak with Hira Leoni. After tending to the hedge tree, the hero was scheduled to board a boat from the mirror planks. Well, the vessel's departure time has come and gone, but there's still no sign of her. Knowing how absorbed the hero becomes in her work, I am not unduly concerned. Arnel, Armel, however, was responsible for organising Leone's transportation and is likely wondering if her wayward passenger is ever going to arrive. Perhaps a gentle reminder is in order. Okie doke, I believe that's this way, is that there? Um... Let's see, let's speak with Leone. Oh wait, nope. It's this way. <laughs> yeah, I'm down here. so much walking. <laughs> um, nothing really to uh, know over here. Ah, here's Leoni. Oh, that guy is pretty big. Uh, I don't know if I really want... Whoa, uh, I don't know if I really want to take this on by myself, but I guess the uh, mobs made that decision for me. I'm probably going to die, aren't I? <laughs> uh, where is everybody else when you need help? <laughs> Uh, this is going to take a while unless somebody really hurries up and gives me a hand. <laughs> uh, thankfully he's doing fairly low damage to me, but I'm also doing fairly low damage to him. <laughs> it 
it's just my look this uh, fate would be right on top of the uh, quest hand and location <laughs> This could take a while. Uh, can we maybe run away and uh, see if the mob will leave us alone next time that we try to hand in this quest? <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to try and run and hopefully you'll leave us alone. <laughs> Um, right, the music stopped, so has he lost interest? Uh, seems like now just please don't attack me again while I'm trying to hand in a quest. Rather uh, poor placement of a, uh, of a fade, I think, there, square. Oh no, please don't let's start attacking me again, I just want to hand in my quest. Oh, for crying out loud. Who made this terrible decision? Ah, uh, just keep running away. Um, now what are we going to do? Because this is really going to uh, break the flow of things. One last try, and if it doesn't work this time, we'll have to uh, maybe edit this out. Because uh, we can't have you guys sitting here waiting half an hour for to uh, complete this quest. Yo, level 51 guy, Dr. Charnard, give me a hand, kill this guy for me. <laughs> now we're making some slightly uh, better progress. Still taking quite some time uh, longer than I would have liked, but uh, it is what it is I suppose. <laughs> oh, hang on, let's refresh my error. What class are you, by the way, uh, Doctor? Uh, oh, the machine is DPS, so yeah, he can't self-heal himself as far as I'm aware. So I might want to keep an eye on his health bar. Boy, this guy's taking so long. <laughs> Again, we might uh, edit this down to be a little bit shorter because uh, it's taken quite a long time with not a lot uh, for me to be able to uh, fill in the dead air with. <laughs> All right, and we're back. We've finally completed uh, that horrible guy uh, making a nuisance of himself at a main story location. Oh well. Yes, what troubles you, my dear? Ah, yes, the board. I had quite forgotten. Hmm. Well, my task with the hedge tree is well and finished, but the elementals murmur of a malevolent presence in the vicinity of the Tam Tower of Deepcroft. I must abide a while longer, that I might better divine the source of the elementals' distress. Please inform, inform an Ameli that I shall be late in arriving. Okay. Right, where have we got to go? Alright, to the docks. So uh, I was sort of right before when I said that was the location that we uh, were going to. I've just got a bit ahead of myself. <laughs> A mount, a mount, my kingdom for a mount. Um, I forgot what level you get the mount. I don't think it's too far off. Was it level 20 or level 30? I think you get the mount. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Uh, almost there. And we've got a uh, Chocobo. Oh no, that's not Chocobo Porter. I'm uh, seeing things now. <laughs> you bear a message from Hero Leone, an evil presence in the Deepcroft. That does sound grave indeed. I shall organize a vessel for a later time then. Perhaps a bell from now. Two? Better make it free, just to be safe. Thank you for your trouble. 
Uh, ooh, a new weapon. Uh, class quest rewards. Uh, there are some actions which can only be learned by completing specific class quests. For example, uh, range lancer weapon skill, piercing talent is acquired by completing lancer guild quest available at level 15. So did we just get uh, awarded a new skill there? I didn't see one. Uh, raise. Uh, it's soon a bit of an unusual time to bring that up. Is that telling me that once I do my next class quest, that that's when I'm going to get this reward? Because I certainly don't see a new one now. That was at level 10. Uh, and that one was at level 12. Unusual timing for that uh, tutorial message. <laughs> Might you assist me with enough matter, sir? A wagon that depart from Quarry Mill was overturned on the road when some large, ill-tempered forest beast chose that moment to defend its territory. By Norfolk's grace, the driver escaped without serious injury, but the wagon's cargo was not so fortunate. With none willing to risk another encounter with the creature, I can only assume the goods remained strewn across the ground where the incident occurred. Simply follow the road here to the south, and you should come across the wreckage. Salvage what cargo you can, and deliver it to Kiefer at Bent Branch Meadows, if you would be so kind. Right. To the south again. Going off, awfully far to the south, yeah. Oh, and we've never been to the South Shroud yet. <laughs> oh well. Actually, let's have another quick check of that. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to be particularly close to any uh, right shards. Although the walk to Buscarum's Drufa might be worth the walk, just to pick up the uh, the flight path. Or in this case, the Jacobo path. Walk path. Whatever you want to call it, path. <laughs> Ah, he has the overturned wagon. We're going to get attacked, aren't we? <laughs> yep. Right. Let's get rid of you. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, that's one seriously big uh, AOE area. <laughs> right. A little bit more damage to finish him off. And keep going. One more hit should maybe finish him. Alright, can we get this cog one piece now or are we going to be attacked again? No, I think we can grab it. Alright, that's that one. And this one. Right, uh, back to the north again. And we're coming up on the half an hour mark. So we might cut this episode a little bit early after we hand in this quest, see what the next uh, thing is for us to do after handing this in. Whoop. Uh, it was here what I was handing in, wasn't it? Wait, what? Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Is it all the way at Bent Branch Meadows? It is. Oh, well, we can uh, just... Nope, I keep on pressing that. I want teleport. Uh, Bent Branch Meadows. Right, uh, just over here. And I'm not seeing the icon yet. Where is it? Where ah, there she is. You have a delivery for me? Uh, yep, there you go. Though the crate is splint in several places, it does not appear that its contents were damaged in the fall. Ah, this is the shipment I was waiting for, waiting on from Quarry Mill. I heard the wagon ran afoul of some great monstrosity just up, uh, up the path from the mirror planks, but I see you've managed to scrape together a few bits and pieces. Seems I can't get through two bells these days without hearing some new tale of horrors in the deep croft, or bandit cutthroats prowling the woods hereabouts. Makes me wonder if me Chikobos are safe at night, it does. If we're ever in need of adventurous skills, I hope you'll be around to lend a hand. Alright, that belt seems to be an upgrade, so we'll take that. Mm, no fault. Oh, All right, the other one's over there. By this uh, Chikobo lady. Or oh, is it a man? Uh, I think it's a man. Alright. Let's have a look at our time. Three minutes remaining. I don't think we'll be able to fit in another quest in that time, so to keep things running smoothly, we'll end this episode here, and we shall see you guys next time.